hello beautiful people okay so welcome to my channel once again and today i'm bringing you something juicy see i promised you and i've delivered it to you today i'm bringing um how to apply elegance in your kitchen so i hope you stay with me subscribe view comment on my channel and like it thank you okay so when I say how to apply elegance in your kitchen as a lady or as a gentleman, I mean that, you see, most of the times we all think that elegance is just basically based on the physical beauty and a lot of things. But when you go deeper into real elegance, elegance really talks about not your physical beauty but also what you carry within and what you can do around yourself that's real elegance so that's what i want to share with you today so number one tip on how to apply elegance in your kitchen is to ignore the trends guys okay so when i'm talking about ignoring the trends all i basically want to talk about is you should not and you should never try to compare yourself to anybody no matter what what happens because like people visit other people in their homes and they basically see what they have in their kitchen and stuff that they try to um, compare that so because basically everyone and his or her income range and if example I'm paid three thousand citizens someone is being paid two hundred citizens basically what you have to do is that me having the three thousand cities i will end up buying higher things than you with the two hundred cities so what i think is that you shouldn't actually compare yourself no matter what the cost or no matter what the circumstances with anybody so that is the first step and the second tip is admire what you have guys this is really hard but i think that you can just bear with me and admire what you have because when you are in your kitchen what you have is what basically makes you because when you have let's say a rice cooker a blender and other stuff and you go to someone's kitchen and he or she has maybe a washing machine and other stuff you tend to compare yourself to the person i think that you it's not right because as i said everybody and his or her income so when you don't admire yourself it's something, there's something called self-love you should admire yourself for what you have and for what you are in order to display elegance in your kitchen because if you don't love yourself or if you don't love the kitchen i'm telling you the gospel fact you can't just apply elegance in your kitchen because you are always annoyed when you get to your kitchen you should love your kitchen you see it puts in work to make something look beautiful to make something look extraordinary so i think that you should love what you have and the third tip i'm going to talk about today is to choose your utensils wisely you should choose your utensils wisely guys this is really hard but i think that choosing your utensils wisely is basically one of the most important factors to applying elegance in your kitchen because when as i was talking about in the salary ranges of workers when an income a less income comes in and someone is being paid a, a higher amount of income and two these two people go to the market to get hardware and stuff the person with a low income tries to buy less expensive things which i think that it's 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 not it's not good because we all know that most of the times cheap things are not good because guys even i'm a factor of it but i won't I, I, I think that if you try to stop this it's really going to help because when you go to the market to buy ch cheap stuff it's really bad because if you know you can't afford it that's why I said admire what you have if you know you can't afford it don't or save towards it if you are giving a housekeeping money you divide it that this is going for this and this is going for utensils so 
basically when you're making your plans you know how to include other stuff that when i'm going to the market is i'm going to buy a blender so when i buy the blender i'm going to buy a blender that is going to last for a while because when you buy things that are not expensive and someone comes to your kitchen and you expect the person to come and see something excuse me something something funny how would the person how would the person like what you have if it's even a small space that is your kitchen you can make it work you can make it elegant you don't keep stuff by heart you dress up a kitchen that's what real elegance means and the the fourth tip on my list is to organize your cabinet guys you see you go to someone's kitchen and his cabinet is whole lot of messed up you see stuff hanging around you see bowls on the floor you see spoons displayed anyhow but you go to another person's kitchen and you see that the cabinets are well arranged. You can keep the utensils on one side, keep the spoons in the container. There's something I, I learned on um, DIY at um, plus um, substances made out of waste. And what they, I was learned, I was taught that when you have bottles, I'll come to that later. I'll teach you how to make um, use of waste, um, waste substances, how, how to make them useful. You see, when you have these plastic bottles, you can, um, you can, you can make um, something out of plastic bottles. The used ones, those bottle waters and others. You can make a user and keep your spoons in it and design it to make it look attractive. So that when someone gets to your kitchen, the person will fall in love with just coming to your kitchen and will just basically want to, want to be in your kitchen. Yes, yeah, that's a fact. So. The fourth tip on my list is you should replace one out cabinet, guys. This is really hard, but I think that replacing one out cabinet, it's 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 really it's really good, yeah. Because when your cabinets are broken and other stuff, it displays the utensils, even if the utensils are not quality. When that um when your cabinets are worn out and they are broken, the utensils end up showing. And when someone gets to your kitchen, maybe some people want first just the first impression. See, first impression really counts. So when you 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 leave them broken, and even your utensils are not are, are not nice or beautiful, like it's it speaks bad of us guys. Cause when the things are um we um arranged well and someone gets to your kitchen and your cabinets are locked and they are not broken she or she doesn't end up knowing what's in the in the cabinet but if you leave them just, just anyhow the person knows what you have and goes out with the rumor you know rumors spread spread more than um good news so that's that's what i think that it should it should it should be your general tips you have to be looking out and my next tip is to add something unexpected okay so adding something unexpected guys i think that you see once i paid a friend a visit and when i went i saw this 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 thing that really attracted me to the the person's kitchen because when I, I went i saw a furniture decorated with flowers in the kitchen you, you see you see a surprise it was in the kitchen yes i was so amazed when i was like ah, you have a furniture in your kitchen the person was like yes you should you should admire what you have as i talked about and should add something unexpected something when someone walks into your kitchen the person will fall in love with your kitchen so when i asked so what's the use of the chair the person was like i basically place the chair here that when anybody is tired or something the person can sit relax and engage in conversations with the person cooking whilst um, uh, whilst everything is going and so in in the long run you see the person has added something unexpected. Even it doesn't mean you should just put furniture in your kitchen, but sometimes even if flowers, even like um, even flowers that you keep in your kitchen sometimes really speak a lot. Cause I think that flowers brings beauty. Flower flowers is life. When you give someone flowers, it, 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 it's it's so nice, so beautiful. So having the flowers in your kitchen really makes your kitchen looks that 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 amazing for 
anybody at all to, 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 to wish to come to your kitchen and my next 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 step is you shouldn't pile up dishes guys i know we are all victims of the, this but the rulers don't pile up dishes because when you pile up dishes what it does that when you see oil things when um you just try this keep um a bowl a dirty bowl maybe a bowl with food or something um in an enclosed place for a while for about four or five hours and just come back and 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 just have a smell of the way it, it stinks it really stinks so i think that and i also do it because when you come to my kid i won't just leave my dishes anyhow because oil and um oil stinks and when you when you, when you pile up your dishes it it really speaks bad about you so as you're cooking in order not to to avoid sorry in order to not to avoid piling up dishes you can do two um two bowls well or two um we have a thing that when as you're cooking you be washing cooking wash cook wash cook wash so it's like the cook wash c w c w c w s is a cook wash system cook wash cook use one to cook you wash use one to cook wash so c w c w <laughs> it's funny guys but that's it that's it that's 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 the, that's the fact because when you cook wash cook wash it really helps you so it's not every time that you come you wake up the next day tired and you be like oh i have dishes to wash but when you do them every second it's it's it really helps and it really even saves time because when you're going to work you can't just wake up with a whole lot of things to do and adding up dishes you know this is it takes time to do it you know and as you wash it then someone else will say oh the dishes wasn't washed well so you need time to wash the dishes that's what i think so you should do them always you shouldn't try to power them up that is about the dishes stuff and the next step is you should clean the kitchen judiciously you see guys cleaning the kitchen judici judiciously excuse me is when basically every week you try to clean up the kitchen you mop the floors you move the cobwebs you you clean the gas you wash everything you, you won't wait for a long time before you tidy up at least once a week you clean the louvers in your kitchen you clean your cabinet you clean your cookers your stoves your machines it's it, it's really good because when you don't do these things insect rats like rats insects like they come to your kitchen and it's is very it's very not very good thank you thank you thank you cockroaches cockroaches like those deaths they really 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 come to kitchens that are like that so i think that at least once a week or once every two weeks you should um try to organize a cleaning up exercise to clean up the kitchen at least when every saturdays you should do that because it, it's really good but you see as i said first impression really counts when someone walks to your kitchen meets your louvers and other stuff dirty it, it's it's re it's really something because i think that i think that when such things happen it's it's really not good and the next tip i want to talk about is you should have basic equipment okay so having basic equipment is equipment such as blender microwaves kettles you shouldn't just burn anyhow as an elegant lady you shouldn't just burn basic equipment which you can get in the kitchen just it with a t in the twinkle of an eye because when you borrow such things people gossip about you behind you see when you want to know the, the uh, 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 what someone really thinks of you you should you should always try to listen when you pass by you see the th things people say about you it it really does a whole lot of thing like, it, it, it has the ability to make you feel make you that's what i think because when you go to borrow a um, knife from somebody, imagine.